Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm doing a review on Brad History Month, aka another album from Denison Records. Brad is a artist that makes music prolifically from Boston. I've covered him numerous times on this channel, so it's no surprise that I'm covering his latest project. The first song on this project is called Hot Dog Problem. I threw a dog door, they got under the real door. For an intro, I think it's pretty solid. The vocal work on the song is pretty nice. The way that the piano shifts in and out of key or specific notes are out of key remind me a lot of Daniel Johnston. The next song is called Just Devil. <laughs> This is a song that I see Brad make kind of a lot, but it builds up for most of it and then it comes crashing down into a dissonant ending. By no means is it all that bad. It's one of those songs that is pretty one noted. The next song is called Bad Train Accident. <laughs> pretty dark song that near the end of it with the refrain of why can't I still be asleep is actually pretty haunting along with the scraping string like effects near the end. The next song is called fucking the build to spill guy. Honestly, this might be one of Brad's greatest songs since Post Hornycore or even Death Snail 3. The beginning made me laugh because of the way that he says, fuck. 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 In Brad's typical monotone voice, which then goes into this really nice verse section with really pretty guitar playing. It was incredibly enjoyable with relatively pristine production. Still lo-fi as usual, but very enjoyable. The next song is called Face Makes Me. <laughs> slow ballad with nice lyrics. Something that got a little bit tedious was the fact that the drums were, for the most part, completely out of time and almost sounded like Brad was just punching a cardboard box. But I think that the drums were not the biggest problem or they weren't a problem that destroyed the whole song because I think that the chords and the melody made up for it. The last song is called Why We Ran. I have a feeling that Brad did not wear the headphones while recording the drums, if he even did the drums on this song. I assume that Brad made this whole album. Correct me if I'm wrong. The drum sound is incredibly thin. It almost sounds like it was played with pencils and pens. The piano does sound nice and an electric guitar comes in at the very end uh, with these chiming ambient sounds and then reversing and then back into ambience. It was pretty weird. This is definitely a strange album, and while I don't see myself coming back to every song, I do definitely see myself returning to Just Devil, Bad Train Accident, and fucking The Spill and The Build and Spill Guy, whatever that fucking song is called. This album is pretty solid for the most part and has some of Brad's greatest songwriting, so I'm giving it a 7.5. Good shit. 